Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Mold King Super F33043. Uh, now this is a micro version of the popular Super S, which they look so similar, I didn't even notice that the Super F was a different size at first. But it is a, a little micro version of it, so pretty neat. They are like almost identical in design. I don't have the prop guards on the Super S here, but it does have the same prop guards. And then, you know, this is like the micro size, like the Hubson X4, uh, but it has gear-driven props like the Sima X11. So it has these big, uh, slower spinning props, so it's uh, really nice and stable. I, I, I really like the way this thing flies. It looks cool. The uh, landing gear just pull off, so you can... Uh, fly it without the landing gear if you want. However, it doesn't really have a specific um, landing legs or anything then in that case, so it doesn't exactly land nicely, but you can fly with them off if you want to, you know, reduce a little bit of weight. I'll go ahead and put them back on here for display's sake. And the prop guards also come off, however, um, they are screwed into place, so you do have to unscrew them to take them off. Um, let's see. Here we've got the transmitter here, which is a little funky. I've um, had this one before with the little, that circle prop guarded uh, Nano from Mold King. Um, so not, not my favorite transmitter, but not horrible. I mean, it still fits in the hands decently, and at least you've got sticks, so it works good for pinchers or thumb flyers. Um, and this does use a different protocol than the Super S, uh, so you cannot use that transmitter with this or vice versa. Uh, so that was a little unfortunate. I was hoping I could use the same transmitter with each. Um, we'll look at what it comes with. We've got a USB charging cable, and that's it. There are no spare props for this one. So, I mean, I guess just fly with the prop guards on. You don't have to worry about breaking props, but if you do, do take the prop guards off, and break a prop, I'm not really sure what you're going to do about spares, because I mean these are unique props. Uh, I don't I don't even think they sell them uh, separately, so kind of weird there. No spares at all for the props. Um, here is the battery. It is a 1S LiPo. Let's see if I can get that focus in. 280 milliamp hour with the micro low C plug. Uh, that takes about 50 minutes to charge. Um, with everything on, the guards and landing gear, you get about 7 minutes and 15 second flights with a minute and a half long LVC warning. Uh, so it's almost like where that, you know, the LVC is so long, it it's too long. It's like the boy that cried wolf. Um, but, you know, with flights that long, I, I guess a good long warning is a good thing to make sure you get it back to you or whatever. Uh, but, you know, really long, 8 minutes and 45 seconds total if you fly all the way to the LVC. Um, if you take the prop guards and landing legs off and fly it in its lightest form, uh, you only get about 30 second more flight time, so not a big difference. Uh, so that'd be 7 minutes and 45 seconds before the minute and a half long LVC warning. Uh, you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks to the outside corners like that. Um... The left bumper up here is our rates, and it has three different rates, and the yaw rate changes, and it's a really good yaw rate. Uh, the Super S, there was two different versions, and I think I had the early one where it had just an insane yaw rate on high rates, uh, where it was just too fast to even be flyable. It was good for stunts, but you couldn't really fly circuits with it because you'd end up overturning and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so this one is a good mix. The, the yaw rate and pitch are really nice. You can do tight funnels on high rates and you can actually fly it uh, manageably in high rates. So uh, really good on the yaw rate there. Uh, you can do flips by holding the right bumper, pressing the right bumper and then moving the right stick in whatever direction you want to flip. Um, it can do headless mode by holding the left bumper and return to home by holding the right bumper. Um, however, that return to home is just headless mode version where it it just flies whatever it thinks is backwards. Um, so, you know, not really trustworthy. If, you know, headless mode is disoriented, it could just go off to who knows where. 
Um, it does have really nice LEDs in it in the arms, just like the Super S did. It's got green in the front and blue in the back. Uh, so not super distinguishable between the two colors, but it lights up bright enough that it's you know plenty good for orientation. Uh, one thing, one weird thing I noticed is that after you do a flip, it changes back to low rates. I have no idea why it does that. So every time you flip, if you're flying in high rates, you've got to change back up to high rates again. So really strange. I have no idea why why it would do that. Um, oh, and I did notice the the prop guards seem to be pretty weak. Uh, they're just a really light, flimsy plastic, and I can't. Here it is. So in you know testing them. I don't know if I can get that close enough to the camera to show up, but yeah, there you go. So that one broke there right at the, the uh, where it meets the body. So, you know, pretty, pretty thin, flimsy plastic, so they aren't going to last very long in crashes, uh, which is unfortunate with ha not having any spare props, because you kind of need those prop guards. Uh, but, you know, otherwise, I really like it. It flies nice. It's really smooth and stable. Uh, good little quad. So let's see. Do I have any other details here nope that's all i got to say about it so let's go take it for a flight all right this is the flight review of the mold king super f a little micro quad with the gear driven big props kind of like the sima x11 and we got nice bright green leds in the front and blue in the back kind of glow through the white body pretty nice this thing flies really good and uh Go ahead and start out on low rates. It's a little bit noisy. So there's our low rates, y'all. Medium, high, low, medium, high. Get some funnels going. Whoa, come back. There we go. Pretty good funnels. Whoa, and it lands on its feet. Now this is weird. Okay, so I'm in high rates. You can see I got the nice fast yaw. Now when I do a flip, it switches to low rates. Medium, high. I'm on high rates. Flip, low rates. No idea why it switches to low rates after a flip. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've never seen any other quad do that before. Very bizarre. There's our full pitch left and right on high rates. Got some, some decent speed to it. Like the got some prop guard kind of bent up and stuff. Oh yeah, that one's kind of broken. I think I just broke it a little bit more. All right, well let's go ahead and turn off some lights and see what these LEDs look like in the dark. Very very bright, and they kind of light up the whole prop guards and props and everything. Definitely night flyer. Very well lit. A little bit strange that green and blue. They don't exactly stand out a lot from each other. But plenty visible, easy to keep orientation, no problem at all. Hopefully my landing pad LEDs aren't throwing my camera lighting off. Alright, turn the lights back on while it just kind of hovers. Wow, that's, that's pretty nice hover. I had my hands off this whole time while I was turning the lights on. Not bad. I like these little micros with the big gear-driven props. 
They've got long flight times. They're nice and uh, stable. Good indoor flyers. I'm a fan of this one. The Super S, the little bit bigger one, was a big hit, so not too surprising that they made a smaller version. Very nice. I like it. The prop guards are a little flimsy, a little weak. And the weird turning to low rates after a flip are pretty much the only negatives about this thing. Otherwise, I like everything about it. Oh, clip myself up. Oh, that prop guard's pretty much done now. Yeah, it's broken on both hinges. They're just so, they're so light and flimsy. To, you know, so to not weigh the quad down, but then they just end up breaking after a few crashes. Not really that functional. I think it actually looks better with them off anyway. It make it look smaller. It looks really big with the prop guards on. Anyway, let's go ahead and take her in for a landing. Put it on low rates. Beautiful. Look at that. Alright, well there we go. That's the Mold King Super F little micro with the gear driven props. Same design as the bigger Super S. So if you've got that already, you may want the little brother for it. And I'm a big fan. It flies really well and looks cool. And got the good LEDs and everything. Alright, we'll check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.